it's a fantasy. Somber me, sober me. She's existing but not living, and it's because of her that I'm living this hell parallel to the success I tried to achieve. And sometimes that bothers me. Sometimes it's too hard for me to believe. So I ask, are you pursuing your dreams or are you just sleeping? Nickel and diming for change. Trying to buy King's dream because I'm tired of eating top ramen and window shopping. And the only thing free is pain and suffering. That's why I'm living this hell parallel to the success I try to achieve. And sometimes it bothers me. Sometimes it's too hard to believe. So I ask, are you pursuing your dreams or are you just sleeping? Hi, I'm Deshaun. And I'm Jonathan. I'm the president of the Canaries High School Black Achievers Club model. And I'm secretary. I'm president of the Cambridge High School Poetry Organization. <laughs> and I'm secretary. <laughs> and together we are co-founders and presidents of One, one of, of us. us. Last year, I became involved with the Black Achievers because I wanted to focus on academic achievement, career development, and planning out my future. And I became involved with the poetry organization because I found that creativity and expression are keys to figuring out who I am. And then after I met John, I then too became involved with the poetry organization. I felt it was a great way to relieve myself of stress and to develop my thoughts. And then I became involved with the Black Achievers because I found that I wanted to focus on my leadership skills and my creativity. Though those are both great opportunities, and we learned a lot from them, it still wasn't enough. Because after being in both programs, we saw a gap. A gap between those who could express themselves creatively and those who were well focused on planning the future. So Deshaun and I came together to create one of us. To embark on the ambitious mission to create change in our school and in our community by implementing school events and after-school activities to uh, cultivate creativity. We had things like poetry slams, and to encourage academic pursuit, we had a fast for night, and we had a few scholarship opportunities to help share with our peers. But let's start from the beginning. Correct. Last summer, I had an internship at the Oasis Center where I worked for a program called The Real Program. There I met a kid named Anthony. And on one hot July day, we went and worked on this farm out in East Nashville. And it was a 1,000 degrees. We were weeding, we were gardening, all under this hot sun. While most of the other kids were running around throwing ice and water at each other, Anthony was working the entire time. You know, I was so confused and so curious. Why is such a big guy who's supposed to be a bad kid working so hard for something he's not even going to get paid for? So when I caught up to him, I found out that people think he's a bad kid just because of his size and because of his past. He told me that his father was never there and his mother wasn't involved either. What he said next is really what struck me deep. He said all he ever wanted was for somebody to care. All he had ever wished for was for somebody to be there. And so that's why we created one of us, for people like Anthony. Anthony needed a place to belong. And one of us is built on providing high school students a place to feel accepted so that they can find a sense of belonging. Anthony knew something was missing. And one of us helps you to become more aware of what you want and for you to discover what you need. But finding those resources to discovering who you are isn't always that easy. So Deshaun and I got together 
to help you find those resources to discovering who you are and to make those interpersonal connections. But how do you do that? How do you figure out what you need and discover what you're missing? Well, you rock. And today, everybody here is going to learn how to become rappers. Well, not like Eminem, not like the thing that goes on a piece of candy, not even Tupac. We're talking about <laughs> you're going to learn, we're going to learn how to reflect, aspire, then pursue. When you reflect, look into the mirror and ask yourself these kind of questions. Do I like the person I see? Or am I just that person because that's who my friends want me to be? Do I think I really look good in the clothes that I'm wearing? Or am I only wearing them because I saw them on TV somewhere, so I thought I should wear it? Is the music that I listen to what I really like? Does it motivate me? Or is that just what's popular right now? OK, I want everybody in the audience to do something for us really quick. I want you to think of three words that describe who you are. Hold them in your head and raise your hand when you're ready. Got a couple here, looking for a little more in the back. OK, looks like we're about ready. Now that you have those three words, I want everybody to tell them to their neighbor. OK. Looks like we're about finished. Now, do you really like those three words? Do they accurately tell who you are? Or do they describe the person you want to become? Because before we can start planning out who we wish to become, we first must be honest with ourselves today. And after you reflect, you then want to aspire. And I have three goals I want to share with you today. One, I want to graduate May 2014 with my high school diploma. Two, I want to fully own a car that would transport me from point A to point B. Yeah, maybe my mom would be a little less stressed. And three, I seriously want to take these shoes off because they're like killing my feet. Anybody want to help me? But the biggest question I want to ask today is, how relevant are your goals to your aspirations? I mean, do my goals mean life or death? Will they determine how happy I will be or how much success I will achieve? Maybe not. But do those goals determine who I am today or who I will become? Because if you are dreaming, then you have aspirations. And if you're not dreaming, then you're just sleeping. And so I ask, are you pursuing your dreams or are you just sleeping? Are you pursuing your dreams or are you just sleeping? Once we have figured it out, you know, who we want to become and what we want to do, the next step is to just do it. Find people that want to do the same thing as you. Or find people that have already done it and ask them a million questions. Find people that want the same thing for you. We understand that this process isn't that easy. But we still encourage the members of one of us to rap. And John and I, we reflect, aspire, and pursue every single day. My story begins with writing poetry. I began writing poetry, and unlike most typical teenagers, my poetry started with love and relationships. And after I made that publicly aware, and my peers started to ask me, who is it about? You know, who do you write for? Are you in love with someone? I had no one in particular in mind. I'm only in eighth grade. So I met this girl later, and she began to tell me that my special feature was my smile. <laughs> and that the one thing that she knew that knew, no one else knew 
but her, not even I, was that my poetry was about her. At that moment, my jaws dropped. I was, you know, and I had a feeling inside that I didn't understand. I couldn't comprehend. And so I put her in the center of my universe. I began to build aspirations around her. I wanted to be the best boyfriend, husband, the best father figure, the best friend, the best everything for her. And I wanted to do everything at her convenience. But I realized that those were the wrong aspirations. I had to reflect. So I took her out of the equation and I tried my best to move on and I put myself in the middle. I began to learn more about me, who I wanted to be, who I am. And now, look where I'm at. I'm standing right here in front of y'all, telling y'all about an idea that's worth spreading. And we all have stories to work on, but this was just mine. Four years ago, my mother lost work, and that caused us to lose most of our belongings and even our home. We ended up having to move all the way out to Colorado to move in with our grandparents. I took to sports to hide the fact that we had lost our belongings, our sense of belonging, and what I felt we lost was our sense of security. Through sports, I had a brotherhood. I had people I could go run off with, cut up, laugh, and play with. I had coaches that I could look up to. My biological father was never there. And my stepfather wasn't always there either. But then my sophomore year, I had an injury that has caused me to no longer be able to play sports. So at that point, I had to reflect on what was going on around me so that I could find something else to do. What I realized was that the things that I was learning in school and in sports was negatively affecting my relationship with my mother and especially my younger brother. In school and in sports, we're taught that if you have problems, you call each other names, you argue, you fight. And that's exactly the things that I was doing at home. And then once I thought about it, I hated that. So I aspired to become the one thing that I wasn't. Well, one of the many things. A family man. A better big brother. And in my pursuit of this aspiration, me and my younger brother, we haven't had as many fights. I've learned to choose my fights a little bit more wisely. You know, we still may fight over the bathroom mirror every now and then, but we don't fight as much anymore. And I understand that my journey to becoming a better big brother and a better family man is not over yet. But by me publicly apologizing today, it's just the next step, and that's repairing our relationship. So we all have stories that we're working on. And my story was a journey through love. And mine was through family issues and poverty. And as you all may know, you all have a story that you all want to share. But our stories begin with our when it's ah within ourselves. <laughs> and we were hoping to share our stories, our method, and our program, One of Us, so that you all here today can learn how to rap, reflect, aspire, and pursue. And so that you can answer the big and ultimate question. Are you pursuing your dreams? Or are you just sleeping? Thank you. Thank you.